love Wednesdays, not just because it's hump day, but it's also Weather Geek Wednesday. Our pal Ari Sarsalari joining us now from the lab. And Ari, so when it comes, yeah, you like it, I like it. When it comes to uh, severe weather, okay, people have heard about tornadoes, uh, but a lot of folks don't hear about downbursts. You're going to talk downburst. Yeah, it's uh, basically straight line wind. You ever been in one of these storms where you just get absolutely crushed by straight line wind? You know, the uh, weather service will come in the next day and they'll survey it and they'll be like, yeah, this wasn't a tornado. This was straight line wind. And you're like, this had to be a tornado, right? I mean, the wind was just crazy. A lot of the times that's a downburst, okay? And the wind can just be nuts in these things, as you can see in this example from uh, Arizona last year. And just, just one of many examples, all right? So what's going on in this process? You can actually see these from far away. That's the cool thing about it. So check out the graphic here, okay? So in storms, of course, you've got rain. This is actually not too different from some of the stuff we've talked about over the last few weeks. Gust fronts, outflow boundaries. It's all kind of the same idea. The cold air, the rain-cooled air, will just hit the ground, and then it basically just shoots out in all directions. So you can see that cold air bomb, basically. Here, I'll get on the other side. We'll make this a little bit easier. Sorry. I set up the graphics, so I'd be standing on this side. So it hits the ground, shoots out in all directions, and these are your damaging wind gusts, okay? The horizontally moving air down there at the surface. So here's a pretty cool time lapse where you can actually see this happening. Uh, check this out. Okay, this was actually, I believe, in Arizona. Uh, and uh, we'll roll the video here. We'll go to the VO, and you can see here's your downburst. All right, see, so I'll, I'll show you right here. This is the downburst in the distance and then you can actually see look at this you can actually see like a wall of in this case it's dust because this was kind of a dry microburst it was rain cooled air that hit the ground and this was in the desert but imagine you're standing there you see this coming at you and you're like okay it doesn't look like it's moving that fast like what's the big deal when it's far away it doesn't look that bad but then when you're in it look at what it looks like all right so we'll go to the other video and you can see yeah, these things very often can produce wind gusts of about, you know, 70 miles an hour or more. I mean, look at that. That's what it looks like when you're inside these things. So, it's pretty serious business. And, you know, from time to time, these things can actually produce wind gusts in excess of 100 miles per hour. We've seen that at times. So, uh, no joke for sure. It doesn't always have to be a tornado. Downbursts can cause their fair share of damage, guys.